Russian volunteers collected humanitarian aid worth more than a million rubles and loaded it into a military Kamaz vehicle to be delivered to Russian servicemen in Ukraine's Luhansk region. However, the aid was not delivered to the Russian position due to an attack by a Ukrainian drone that dropped an incendiary mixture on it. Following this, the humanitarian aid burned along with the truck transporting it. A projectile fired from the drone hit the vehicle in the front row of the convoy of several Kamaz trucks, causing an explosion. The vehicle with gas cylinders caught fire while it was moving. As a result, in addition to the humanitarian aid in the vehicle, the military supplies, including the radio-electronic combat equipment also burned. Volunteers have stated that the Kamaz vehicle belonging to the military unit needs to be repaired. They also stated that they would collect aid to buy new radio-electronic combat equipment to replace the destroyed one. It should be noted that most of the territory of Luhansk region is under Russian occupation. On the eve, footage from the Sudza district appeared on the internet in which local residents ask Putin to help evacuate civilians. They claim that fighting in the region continues, although propaganda media write that the Ukrainian armed forces are allegedly already completely defeated. One of the women in the video stated that on August the 6th, foreign troops entered the territory of the Kursk region accompanied by NATO equipment, the channel Ukraine 365 reports. Residents of Subza said that their houses were destroyed and they themselves were unable to leave the area. The local authorities have not yet organized the evacuation and people are saving themselves as best they can. At the same time, there is no communication in the area and it is impossible to reach those who remained in the territory where the fighting is taking place. In the village of Guevo, people flee by boat across the river and run into the forest. Kursk residents do not believe local media, which report that the Ukrainian armed forces have been stopped. According to them, the territory of Malaya Loknia is 90% under the Ukrainian armed forces. People said that they constantly live under fire and are used to it, but they should not be abandoned to their fate, but rather evacuated as quickly as possible. The source writes that since August the 6th, only 3,000 people have been evacuated from the territory of the Kursk region. Meanwhile, the Russian dictator promised the residents of the Kursk region not evacuation, but monetary compensation in the amount of 10,000 rubles. During the two years of war, local authorities took no action to evacuate civilians living in the border area. Earlier reported that 15 kilometers from Rilsk, the Ukrainian armed forces covered a column of enemy military equipment with targeted fire. The former president and vice president of the Russian Security Council, Dmitry Medvedev, has warned Germany after the start of the Ukrainian attack on Russian territory, as Kiev's troops use German tanks. Medvedev referred to the German tabloid build, saying that the said media has published a revanchist article where it proudly announces the return of German tanks to Russian soil. He warned that in response, Moscow will do everything to bring the newest Russian tanks to the Platz der Republik, the famous landmark in the German capital, Berlin. The German newspaper Bild has published a revanchist article where it proudly announces the return of German tanks to Russian soil. In response, we will do everything to bring the newest Russian tanks to Platz D. Republic, he wrote in X. Recall, the German foreign ministry has commented on the events in Russia's Kursk Oblast and stated that Ukraine has the right to self-defense on Russian territory. Recently, he said that Russia needs to learn lessons from the Ukrainian army's actions on the border with the Kursk region and resolutely crush the enemy. Ukraine has the right to self-defense enshrined in international law. This is not limited to its own territory, the German foreign ministry said in a comment to Politico. It is stressed in the article that many politicians from Germany's opposition party, the Christian Democratic Union, 
have also explicitly supported the offensive by Ukrainian forces and the use of German weapons on Russian territory. We need to learn a serious lesson from what happened and do what Chief of the General Staff Valery Gerasimov pledged to the Supreme Commander-in-Chief to do, that is, resolutely defeat and crush the enemy," he said. Medvedev stressed that, the reasons and goals of the terrorist operation of Ukrainian Nazis in the Kursk region have been thoroughly and objectively analyzed. In his opinion, Kiev was particularly guided by a desire to demonstrate the best sides of its dwindling forces to its masters in order to get more money and weapons, as well as to make Russia redeploy some of its forces from the line of engagement to Kursk and Belgorod, temporarily making making a failure look like a success in the information field.